Welcome to our hands-on Avira malware detection test, courtesy of Best Antivirus Reviews. We are going to download and install Avira Total Security Suit in a free trial mode and test it against our private collection of zero-day malware. So how do you get infected? Uh, let's talk about the most common ways uh, that malware file penetrates your PC. In this example, you can see email from Total Gas Corporation with invoice file attachment. But if you look on the sender domain that you can see here, you will see it is from netsend.biz that has nothing in common with Total Gas. So when you will open the attachment, you will be infected with a malware. Uh, one more example that we can see here is a Facebook chat with a friend that sends you a link and uh, when you click on it, it will redirect you to a site that is hosting a malware file. Another way you can be infected with AdWord type of malware is by installing a software that pretend to fix a PC problem, but at the same time use a Trojan horse approach to infest your PC with unwanted, unwanted applications. Let's talk about types and infection method of malware. We can divide this slide to three parts. The first one is uh, infection method, or how did we get the malware in the first place? Uh, as you can see, we have computer virus, worm, Trojan horse, and exploits. All of them can lead to the infection method. Uh, the second part is uh, malware that focus on black hat marketing, like spam or adware. And the last part is the most common uh, cybercrime, stealing your data or trying to get your money. Ransomware infection, uh, this is probably the most uh, common malware infection that we see on a daily basis for the last two years. Uh, our guess that uh, this epidemic is not going to disappear in the near future. For example, uh, this uh, server uh, ransomware encrypt all your fi personal files and uh, demand a Bitcoin payment in order to release uh, your files and uh, decrypt your data. So what we are going to do in this uh, protection hands-on test, we have a private zero-day malware collection that we collect by monitoring traffic on several ISP gateways. Uh, we will trigger a manual scan on a selected folder that contains 1000 malware. And the ultimate goal is that the tested software will recognize all the files and quarantine the infected files. So instead of seeing uh, 1,000 files on this folder, we should see eventually zero. For example, if we will go to Virus Total and try to choose one of, of, of the files in, in this folder and scan it, you will see that most antivirus software recognize this file as a malware. Um, of course, you can find some that will not recognize it, but you can see which one do recognize it and in which date they recognize this file as a malware. Let's talk about how antivirus signature engine is working. Each time you update your antivirus definition, one of the things that are being updated is the signature database. This signature uh, includes aggregated data of many uh, MD5 signatures. Uh, the MD5 signature is a string contains number and letters that can only represent one file. So if we will go to an online service, that can take a file and generate an MD5 string from this file. We can copy this file and again search 
for one item on virus total. As you can see, this MD5 string generate only one malware. Okay, and now we can go on with the end zone test protocol. The first thing that we're going to do is install a Vera Total Security Suite, update virus definition, and change the setting to auto delete every file that is uh, detected as a malware. After the setting is uh, completed, we can run the manual scan on the infected uh, folder the folder with 1000 malware and according to the number of files that will be left on this folder we can calculate the detection score. So let's go ahead and download the software. Let's open the installation folder and start the installation. I will use fast forward to take you to the end of the installation pro process. Okay, we are back. As you can see, the Avira panel is open and we, are, we can do several things. The first thing that we want to do is update virus definition, making sure all the signature files are up to date. Another thing we want to do is change the setting. So action on deletion detection will be automatic set to delete a file in case a malware is detected. Okay, now we are ready for the test. Let's open the malware collection. We call the folder Honeypot. And right click scan selected files with Avira. Okay, now we will start seeing this number going down and uh, I will get back to you when the process will finish. Okay, we are back. The scan is completed. As you can see from this report, 958 files were deleted and 38 files are still remaining in the folder. This gives us a 96% detection rate. Excellent results for Avira. Um, let's do a small sanity check and select one of the remaining files in, in Virus Total making sure we are talking about real malware. Okay, one of the files, you see it is detected by several 
other antivirus vendor as a Trojan horse. We suggest that you, on your online research you use Best Antivirus Reviews Lab Score Aggregation Tool. We have thousands of lab tests in one search tool that can help you find what is the best antivirus software. You go to the tool, choose your platform, the relevant time frame of the test. We suggest using two years and your operation system and press the calculate uh, button. It will immediately calculate what is the best antivirus software um, according to thousands of uh, lab tests available on the internet. You can see the labs from the new one to the old one from several separate laboratories. Thank you for watching this video review. Please don't forget to visit us for all your online security needs, reviews, lab tests and comparative information.